my stance on this, but I haven't spoken directly because I don't know what to say. I am so sad and I am so angry and I know I'm not going to say the right thing. I know that there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be in disagreement with what I say, but I have a platform and I have a voice and I have always stood for equality. I have always wanted to be the voice for people who felt like they didn't have a voice because I know what that feels like. And maybe you don't agree with how it's coming out, but you have to understand it and then we can heal it. I just, I'm just so sorry that it's come to this. I really don't know what to say other than this has gone on way, 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 way too long. People have gotten away with murder and that's what's happening. So we've got to see fairness and we've got to see justice for all because right now this is not a fair world. Not at all. I don't know if it will ever be completely fair, but we, we have a long way to go to even get close to being fair. And if you don't understand this, then you have never felt like you weren't heard or you weren't equal. But if you've ever felt that, magnify it and see what's happening. And let's send a whole bunch of love out there and try to find some peace and some communication in this. Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. On this Tuesday, we are starting things off with a very serious story about Ellen DeGeneres. Now, her show is the subject of an internal investigation by Warner Brothers following reports that she's creating a bad work environment. Now, over the past months, her employees have been complaining that they're getting treated very badly by the hosts. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that is going to be investigated now, and if it comes to be true, this could change Ellen's career forever. So hit that link, catch up on the reading. I'm calling Twitch so we can talk about a game of games tonight. Hey. Hey, my friend. <laughs> How are you? I miss you. I miss you. So, um, look, now people are going to start texting me now that I'm... Um, so, uh, what are you doing? You hunkering down and dancing? Uh, yes, hunkering down and dancing. Uh, Allison and I just finished TikToking. Hey, Allison. Uh, how are you guys? Good. Well, hanging in there. You? Yeah. You know, you we're, have, we're you, so bored. I know, but you have, you, you have babies to, to entertain you. You have children. That's a good thing. See, that's that's what you would think. To, it's funny you say it to entertain us. Uh -huh. you know? no. <laughs> no. No. They expect no. you to entertain them? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and well. this is the quietest the house has been because uh, the two younger ones are down for a nap right now. It's amazing. All right, well, I'll, I'll take advantage of that time and talk to you. So I'm calling because we, okay. we know that everybody is stressed out and anxious, and the one thing that we know is that Game of Games is a show that the entire family that's all stuck together right now can watch. So I just wanted to call and have you help me remind everybody that that's what we re we need to do right now absolutely i mean listen it's it's a already it's already fun to watch just as a family anyway we do it and you're going to be together anyway and then just also just just kind of play along right like you can even 
will pr- probably create like a little Noah go for yourself on the couch or something like that. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, you make it a drinking game. So, like, whenever. Yeah. You can, I mean, I'm looking for any excuse to have a drinking game right now for anything. Uh, so, oh, yeah, my is yeah. <laughs> so listen, we love you. We just wanted to to call and send love and and. Uh, Hi guys. Hey, um, <laughs> she, she's filming this filming so we can post this so anyway right, cool. we love you and uh we'll all watch game of games tonight and feel better and happy and laugh and forget about this Absolutely. for an hour or so and, 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 and we'll drink uh, have yes and drink. Yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> whether we're watching or not but yeah it's it's, it's yeah, yeah. 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 all right love you both sure. all right bye. 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 bye game of games game of games tonight it's gonna be fun for the whole family, you laugh and forget about everything in the world right now for a little while. Sending love. It was one of the most famous and retweeted selfies in history. And behind these 12 smiling faces, there lay an unsolved mystery about what happened to Jared Leto. With over 3 million retweets, it's listed as one of the most influential photos of all time. And Jared Leto missed an opportunity to be a part of this tweet. That's the most retweet in the history. Was it true that the arm wasn't long enough to fit him in? Or was it a cover up to have their selfie stay at the top? You wanna to be number one? Yes, I do. So it's all about you. We'll analyze the body language in this selfie to uncover the mystery of what happened to Jared Leto and to find the answers on who was involved. Was I was I telling Meryl, everything. you, you, you. Will- and how did Ellen hide the facts behind what really happened with this tweet? I went backstage and they said you broke Twitter and I was like, oh my god. On this episode of Body Language Drop. That's the most retweets in the history. Ellen walks along the aisles and knows exactly what she wants. So I thought we would try to break another record right now with the most retweets of a photo. Channing, if you can get in. Bradley, will you come? No, I want you in it. Jennifer, come in also. I'll take it. Brad, get in here. I'll take it. No, I'm doing it. it. Angie, Lupita. All right. Okay, wait. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. Wait, this way. This way. As this photo is being taken, there's something odd about Jared Leto's behavior. Definitely better. Go. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's Ready? good. Look at us. Ready? Nice. Oh, yes. We did it. If we look close at Jared Leto's behavior, definitely better. Go. Okay. That's hey, that's Ready? good. Look at us. Ready? You'll notice that he pokes his head in three times. That's Ready? good. Look at us. Ready? Ready? Nice. But why did Jared's head have to poke in three times? In the original photo, Jared's head was closest to Jennifer's ear at level three. This implies that the camera was being moved when Jared was trying to poke in, and he had to push to lock himself into this tweet. Let's reenact this scene. Your arm. All right. My arm goes All right. My arm is definitely better. Go. Okay. Hey, that's Ready? good. Look at us. Ready? Nice. Oh, yes. This is exactly what happened. When Jared was at level one, Bradley Cooper moved the camera, taking Jared out of frame. Okay. Hey, that's Ready? good. Look at us. Nice. Bradley Cooper took the first picture without Jared Leto. As Jared Leto pushes for number two to stay in frame, we can hear Bradley Cooper verbally celebrating. Ready? Nice. After going for level 2, the camera was moved again and Jared had to push for level 3, which resulted in the final tweet we're familiar with. This selfie was retweeted over 3 million times and Jared Leto said this about the photo. There he is, right yeah. there, and very happy. Look how happy everybody is. You people so happy. I know, I know. That's what makes me happy about that, that it's so retweeted that you can just see how relaxed and happy Incredible. everybody is. At the Oscars, which is the most tense, usually uptight. Did Bradley Cooper not include Jared Leto because they were competing for the same award, Best Supporting Actor? The nominations for the award was announced on January 16th, 2014, and the Oscar ceremony was on March 2nd, 2014. That's almost two months of Bradley Cooper viewing all the other nominees as his competition. And when the opportunity arises to finally act on this emotion, could the two months of conditioning be the reason why Bradley Cooper treated Jared Leto like that? Not necessarily, but it could have an effect and make him more likely to do it. After the selfie, Bradley Cooper turns around and the first person he looks at is Jared Leto. 
Jared turns behind him and rushes to his seat. But if we enhance the picture, we can see that he's mouthing something. If we use lip reading, we can figure out what he's mouthing. The first lips are compressed, which represents a B, an M, or a P. The second set of lips has his teeth over the bottom lip, which represents an F or a V. Given the context, it's letters M and F that fit the situation the best. Soon after, Bradley Cooper shows us a grin, which is commonly associated with mischievous behavior. Bradley Cooper wasn't the only one that noticed Jared Leto. Here, Brad Pitt is looking at Jared Leto. He looks back at Bradley Cooper with a nod of approval. And it's not bad at all because the funny thing is, on this night, Jared Leto won. Jared Leto? If we replay the announcement, we can see that Bradley Cooper is acting a little different than everyone else. Jared Leto? But what caused Bradley Cooper to do something so impulsive? <laughs> nice! <laughs> was it the competition that got in his head? Or was it because Jared Leto tried to get himself into the selfie? That's the most retweet in the history! In the beginning of the selfie, the body language of Bradley Cooper is very apparent as he starts some drama trying to get the hold of the phone. Meryl! Meryl! His eyes are locked on Jared Leto. Meryl! Meryl! No, Meryl, can, can you take. Bradley Cooper shifts to a lower pitch after looking at Jared Leto. A lower pitch and tonality subcommunicates commanding, dominance, and masculine energy. Here's another example from the beginning of this episode. Jennifer, come in also. I'll take it. Brad, get in here. I'll take it. No, I'm doing it. it. Angie, you want me to do it? Here, I'll do it. No, right after Bradley Cooper looks at Jared Leto, Jared does this. His body language tells us that he's feeling a sense of ambiguity. You're all right. Bradley grabs the phone out of Ellen's hand. And we already know what happened in the selfie. Nice! That's the most retweets in the history! Bradley Cooper was the one that took the two pictures. The final selfie included Jared Leto, but the first one didn't. But did Ellen know that there were two pictures? Don't be scared of me! He just, he pulled, he just put his hand out and captured that, that one shot, that, that one shot, that, that one shot. Why would Evelyn put so much emphasis on how many shots they actually took? Hey, that's Ready? good, look at us. Ready? Nice. Yeah. I went backstage and they said, you broke Twitter, and I was like, oh my God. With everyone jumping in to retweet this photo, it brought them to the top of the list. Could this be why Ellen kept what actually happened under wraps? Jared's eye is next to, uh, yeah, to right. Jennifer. He yeah. barely made it, but he came from the other side of the theater. He barely yeah. made it, but he came from the other side of the theater. He yeah. barely made it. He had a longer <laughs> arm, and you took the best picture. You actually took that picture. Uh, 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 I thought, I didn't get the whole thing, obviously. And I was just sitting there, and I just thought, oh, let me take it to both of you, remember? Because I right. thought, oh, they can't frame it. I was right. like, it's odd that you can't frame it. And more people uh, jumped in, and I mean, Jared Leto's eye barely got yeah. in on the corner. Jared Ellen mentions Jared Leto, and Bradley Cooper has a reaction to this. His shoulders are up and around his ears. Jumped in, and I mean, Jared Leto's eye barely got yeah. in on the corner. Jared, you have like 100 million followers. 98. Yeah, ni well, I'm rounding it up. Yeah, if I you tweet my Oscar selfie and ask your followers to retweet my Oscar selfie so I can get, gain that record back, I will ask all of my followers to go buy your album. But Katy Perry can't help but test Ellen's authenticity. But I love chicken nuggets. <laughs> but, but don't you love me more? Why would you make me choose Ellen between not, Ellen and chicken nuggets? You can go buy chicken nuggets. <laughs> so you want to be the best? Of course I do. You want to be number one? Yes, I do. So it's all about you? <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> it wasn't until after Ellen admitted what she really wanted that Katie agreed. But in the end, Jared won the Oscar. And despite not being a part of this tweet, he was able to accept what happened. Bad you. In a career spanning three decades, Ellen DeGeneres has lifted our spirits and brought joy to our lives as a stand-up comic, actor, and television star. In every role, she reminds us to be kind to one another and to treat 
people as each of us wants to be treated. At a pivotal, pivotal moment, her courage and candor helped change the hearts and minds of millions of Americans, accelerating our nation's constant drive toward equality and acceptance for all. Again and again, Ellen DeGeneres has shown us that a single individual can make the world a more fun, more open, more loving place, so long as we just keep swimming.